I'm joined today by the 33rd overall selection by the Tri-City Americans of the 2019 WHL Draft, Fort Saskatchewan native, Rhett Melnick. Rhett, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? I'm doing all right. Have you gotten all your Christmas shopping done? Uh, yeah, for the most part. I, my mom does a lot of it for me, but she's, more, she's the online shopper in this house, so she gets a lot of that done. Oh, so who haven't you got for yet? Uh, just my sister right now. Ah, she doesn't need it anyways. A piece of coal is good enough for her, right? Yeah. Well, uh, you know, unfortunately, there's a, a shutdown for hockey in Alberta right now, but you started the season with the Fort Saskatchewan U18 AAA Rangers. How's that start of the season been for yourself? And, uh, you know, what are you guys doing right now to keep engaged? Oh, uh, it was good. It's been good. Uh, we got shut down a few times because of COVID cases, but it was good to get back on the ice with, uh, Jordan Gustafson and Jaden Jolly. I've been playing with them for a few years and we, uh, we really clicked together. So that's been good. And uh, we've been we've been doing a lot of Zoom calls and stuff like that to stay together as a team. Well, speaking of Gustafson, I talked to him earlier this week. He's a Seattle Thunderbirds draft pick. You guys will be playing against each other quite a bit starting uh, later, uh, or sorry, I should say early next year, 2021. But what has it been like to play with, with Jordan and Jaden Jolie your, pretty much your whole lives growing up, working with each other, competing against each other? And what do you think it's done for your guys' development as a team? Uh, it's, I think it's been good because every single day we step on the ice and we're always pushing each other to be better. And I think that overall helps out the team. And then I think, uh, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be pretty different playing against uh, Jordan here, but what can you do? Well, let's, uh, let's roll back time to last season, uh, early September, late August. You got your first opportunity to go to a Tri-City Americans training camp. What was, uh, what was your takeaways and how was the experience heading down to Kennewick and finally getting to see what the Americans are all about? Yeah, training camp was, it was awesome. They took me in as one of their own and it was definitely a lot faster pace than playing midget here, but I'm super excited to get down there whenever everything opens back up. So, so hopefully that soon. Well, it's a fast pace. And then you ended up playing three regular season games with the Americans as well. Can you remember what that first game was like? What were the nerves before the game when you were sitting in the dressing room before the coach says, all right, boys, we're heading out there. Uh, and did you have a memorable moment from that game? Um, I was, yeah, I, I was so nervous for that game. Like I barely even remember warm up. I, I remember I got out there and did the rookie lap and then then I just kind of, kind of stood there for a second and took it all in. And then I kind of thought to myself, I, I never ask anybody what we what kind of drills we do for the warm up. So I, I don't think I made one pass on the tape, the whole warm up, but it was, it was a good game. As long as you made a pass on the tape in the game, that's all that matters. But yeah. you know, for, for fans that haven't seen you play, uh, can you describe the type of player that you are? I would say I'm a, two-way hard work in uh, centerman slash winger and uh, I can put the puck in the back of the net when it, and like when it comes down to it and I'm more of a pass first kind of guy though. When you get to training camp this year uh, with the Americans what do you think you need to do to make an impression on the coaches and then ultimately make that lineup? I think I just need to keep working on uh, building my strength it's one of the big things I noticed when I played a uh, few games with the Americans that it was like the strength of and size of everybody is just that much better and bigger than playing midget here. Well, it comes with time. Obviously you're 16 years old. It'll be your first year. You'll figure things out. And uh, you know, it's, it's an interesting season. That's for sure. And there's, there's going to be a lot of unique experiences. I'm sure that you, you and your teammates will go through this season, but let's move away from the rink. Let's get to know Rhett a little bit more. And I'll start with a, with a pretty simple question kind of ties back into the beginning of this conversation, but what did you ask for Christmas this year? I asked for a new putter for golf. Oh, <laughs> You and Jordan, he said he asked for new clubs too. You guys are going to be hitting the links this summer. Oh, yeah. Always, every summer. Uh, is there a TV series or movie you're currently watching? No, I just, I don't know. I just kind of scroll through Netflix every night and see what's on. And if there's a good movie that looks interesting, I'll give it a watch. If you could go for dinner with somebody living or alive, who would that person be? And why would you go for dinner with them? Uh... Probably Adam Sandler. 
just because he's a funny guy and I think it'd be, I think it'd be pretty cool. Well, Red, it's been a pleasure talking with you. Uh, I wish you all the best here that, you know, you stay safe and healthy over the holiday seasons. You get that new putter so you can start sinking some of those short, absolutely you must make them putts. And then uh, you and your family have a great holiday season. Thank you. You as well.